And we've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here in the start of a new season. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. GA, it's all yours. Well, for Bradley Beal, it all started with his shot. His mom was a great athlete in her own right, and she coached him. By age seven, he was making high school range threes. He said, I just run from arc to arc. I loved it because you knew you had to guard me all the way out there. Everywhere I went, it was shooter, shooter. My name became shooter. And Kevin, it still is. It sure is. Thanks, David. And the upcoming schedule for the Mavericks. On Friday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the New Orleans Pelicans. Then on Sunday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. And now Washington's starting group. Wall runs the point with Beal at the two. Hachimura and Bryant are in the middle. And it's Brown in at the small forward position. And for Dallas, Doncic and Hardaway at the two and the three. Kleba is the four with Porzingis in the middle. And it's Brunson in at the one. And this is what we've been waiting for all summer long, all off season long after many months, Doris, Basketball is finally back. And what's incredible, Kevin, is the NBA's popularity just continues to grow. There's worldwide enthusiasm. The NBA players represent the league so well, and my goodness gracious, can they play some basketball? Interesting how now the league, Doris, is commanding the calendar uh, all year round. It used to be such a seasonal game. Now it's... It's, it's 365 days a year. So many storylines throughout the course of the summer. Who's playing where and with whom? Brzingis can't hit. Lob pass to Bryant, and Bryant slams it in. I'll tell you, if you leave a guy open, John Wall is going to put it on time and on target. And sometimes the defense is not going to look good as a result. Now here's Brunson. Out to Porzingis, launches it, hands it from downtown. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Hey, yo, get on wall. Outside wall, fires high post, offensive rebound, Bryant. His second shot goes in, off to a good start, two for two. Just an innate ability to rebound the basketball and then make the defense pay. Already, I mean, we are seeing the full range of his skill set on display. Get ready for a big-time game from this guy. Kleba with the bucket. How about the vision from the young Latvian Porzingis showing he really can read the floor and capitalize. Big coming, big coming. Now here's Beal. D right on him. The shot misses. And the Mavericks going the other way now. Swiped it away. Now, here's Wall. Runs in covering. Wall, no luck. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Pass to Brunson. Here's the three. Another three for Dallas. Over the taller defender. This is why you have to stay connected to shooters on the perimeter. Today's player is not intimidated by size. You even give them a sliver of a window, and they're going to make that shot. And another miss by Washington. For Dallas, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Doncic trying to get open, and Porzingis gets it to go on the assist by Doncic. What a pass by Luka Doncic. He's got tremendous size, and obviously they want the ball in his hands. Now here's Wall. Over Brunson. A nice shot by Wall. 
And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time, Greg. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Wizards trail by four. Knocks it loose. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. And here's a look at some stats for Beal. Great showing for him last season. He averaged 25 points per five assists, and five rebounds. Uh, he's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch. Offense coming very easily for him. And so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor, make the right decision, and then go right after the action he wants. Now here's Bryant. Yeah, we got Wall. Just five to shoot. And here's Wall outside. Boy, it's been a struggle in this quarter, and the team needs more from him, there's no doubt. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Brown outside. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Porzingis. This guy showing great potential as a rim protector. Porzingis a threat to block shots anywhere, anytime. Here's Bryant. And finish off by Bryant. Mavericks leading by four. Brunson the bounce pass. Here's Doncic. That doesn't go either for Doncic. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and he couldn't punish them for their mistake. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And in their history, the Dallas Mavericks have never moved up in the draft, and they needed to do so this summer to keep their pick. Well, you think about it, Greg, they went into it with a little over a 26% chance to move up into the top four. That did not happen. The Hawks collecting that 10th pick from the Luka Doncic trade. Two shots. That free throw, no good. So we can't get either to fall. Boy, when you think back to last season for the Wizards, finishing just 32 and 50 overall, only the second time in six years that they've missed the playoffs. I think going into the year, many thought they'd be a postseason factor. And so it's Washington with it, following the score by Dallas. Pass to Hachimura. Donchich with the steal. Beal with the steal. Passes it to Hachimura. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. What an outstanding pass, and Bradley Beal has come such a long way as a playmaker. And for the Wizards, Doris ended up middle of the road after the John Wall injury last season. And you have to wonder, Kevin, how much longer do they stick with this current core? John Wall and Bradley Beal obviously are very good, but they have not translated to tremendous postseason success and now with the questions raised by wall's injury last season what do they do one shot Well, you think the ownership style of the Mavericks, something the league had to adjust to. Very active, very outspoken. Sometimes I think that rubbed people the wrong way. But now you get the sense it's almost the new normal. Really left alone that time. Well, Bradley Beal's mechanics are so pretty. What a shot. Anjic passes to Hardaway. Bounce pass, Przingis. 
down low. Kleba lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Kleba's got seven points in the game. And the Mavericks, we know, have been trendsetters investing in development and in technology. Kevin, they have always been on the cutting edge of data collection and then using that data to give them a competitive advantage. When you're in a business, it's always about what's next. How can I be better? And Doncic gets it to go. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Wall passes to Bryant. Here's Hachimura. Poked away. Porzingis with the steal. Here's Porzingis with a fast break chance. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And, Greg, as many expected, Przingis getting a huge deal from Dallas to keep him a Mav for a long time. Mavs feel he can be better than he was before the injury. Love the idea of pairing him long-term with Doncic. Sign him to a lengthy and sizable deal to be the core of their future. Mind the lanes. Bertinus, Mind he's the lanes. checked in for the Wizards. One shot. The free throw off from Porzingis. A lot of switching on every possession in the NBA from a defensive standpoint, and you see the way Doris' offenses are adjusting to that. Yeah, I think, number one, you have to attack the switch. That's first and foremost. And it's an interesting balance between attacking and being patient because the one thing you're ultimately seeking in every switch is a favorable matchup for yourself. That's where a critical thinking guard who knows where to find and put the ball is so critical to your success. Well, that's a good way to look at it. There's the pass to Doncic. Basket counts. He's got six. You cannot let Doncic get established on the interior. This guy feels very comfortable wherever he is on the floor. Beal dishes to Bryant. Wizards passing it around. Shot clock at five. Here's Beal. And good. Coming off the assist by Wall. Beal's got five points so far. That jumper translates to every spot on the floor. Bradley Beal becomes harder and harder to guard. Pulls it from the elbow. And that's good for two. And the Mavericks lead by seven. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. From 13, goes back up, and the layup is good. We are talking about a big-time athlete with great size. Bradley Beal, no problem on the glass and finish. Now here's Brunson. He's got five. Brzingis feeling it out a bit. Bertans grabs the board. Wizards trail by five. Here's Bryant. Beal trying to break loose. And offensively right now, each team getting what it wants. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. Now here's Brunson. Outside, Brzingis. Washington with the rebound. Bryant's got five rebounds tonight. Hardaway with the steal. Here's Persingas. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. He's got nine. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Now here's Wall. Got a piece of it. And he uses the glass on the layup. Wall's got his second bucket tonight. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Well, think back to before he moves on to the Dallas Mavericks. While Tim Hardaway Jr. was with the Knicks, he was carrying such a burden offensively because Porzingis was still recovering.
and a new group getting ready for Dallas. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Przingis. Why Powell comes in for Maxi Kleba. Curry's checked in for Hardaway. And it's DeLon right in for Jalen Brunson. The Wizards also changing it up. Wagner, he's checked in for Bryant. Smith comes in for Troy Brown. And it's Napier in for John Wall. And we've seen Hardaway be a much more efficient player than in the past. What we know, Kevin, unequivocally, is that this young man can score the basketball. But what you hope is the best players in the NBA are all about efficiency. That's what you want Hardaway Jr. thinking about. How can I be the most efficient guy on the floor? Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Since taking over the starting role in 2018, Willie Cauley-Stein has lived up to his draft spot of being number six, Greg, overall in 2015. And, and you knew that a big man like Cauley-Stein would take a few years to develop, but at a legit seven feet and, and great length, he is everything you could hope for in a starting center. Cauley-Stein hits them both. Doris, this game always evolving. Fascinating to see the players who drive that change with their unique talents find a way to do things differently. Well, probably two guys currently that have revolutionized the way the game is played. Stephen Curry with the incredible range he has in his three-point shooting. You've got to guard him as soon as he crosses the half-court line. And honestly, if the goal would be good from the other side of the half-court, he'd probably push it to out there. And James Harden, <laughs> so prolific at drawing fouls. It might be maddening to the fans uh, of opposing teams, but James Harden has led the NBA or been at the top of the free-throw attempts list for years now. Great examples. Here's Beal after Luka Doncic's bucket. Lock at six. Takes a shot at the elbow. Beal can't get it to go. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's, it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. That one drops for him. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Well, if you continue to execute at both ends, you can build on this lead. Now, here's Napier. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. The drive by Beal. Curry with the defensive effort. Dallas leading by nine. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. The quick look no good that time. 107 left here in the opening quarter. Here's Smith. Here's Wagner. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And so far the story on Luka Doncic. He's coming off an excellent season. Last year averaged 21 points per. Eight rebounds and six assists. And he paced the whole team in points per game last season. Well, his teammates understood that he was their best option. And understandably, Greg, they got him the rock. Shoot. The first one falls. Well, a new era begins for the Washington Wizards, right? A change in the front office. The team has tried for years to rebuild in a number of different approaches. Perhaps a fresh outlook for fans under new guidance gives this team new hope. He's perfect from the line this time. And for the Wizards and their new front office door, it's a tough task ahead of them. I think so, Kevin, because first and foremost, they need to change the culture of the team, right? Too long, there had been a lack of accountability in D.C., and I think once they address that, the rest of the rebuild could come easier. Now here's Wright. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. They hold the early advantage on the glass. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Berton's shot is good. Berton's got seven points in the game. Man, this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Pass to Doncic. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by the Wizards. 
and this matchup with the Mavericks, it's the first game of the NBA's regular season. Not exactly a game that everyone will be talking about here, but both of these teams can show flashes at times. We're seeing two teams that could be building more for the future, trying to instill a winning culture, and we'll see which team takes a step in that direction. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Mavericks lead by five. And we'll get going after this from the American Airlines Center. Chris Stapps Porzingis grew up in faraway Latvia, but thanks to his brother, developed a passion for the NBA. And Greg, that's something different now for foreign players, isn't it? A lot more exposure to the NBA. And KP, a, a fan of the culture, you saw him in cornrows as a kid. I think that helped prepare him for the transition. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Mavericks? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. Taking a look at the Wizards. Smith is out there with Shabazz Napier. Then there's Ian Mahimi. Then there's Davis Berton. And it's Wagner in at the four spot. Uh, the speed on the break from Powell right now, just booking down the court and getting to the basket. Napier passes to Smith. Back to Napier. Over right. Smith outside. Goes up on the high post, and Curry pulls it down. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Inside, poke loose, and it's out of bounds to the Wizards as Washington retains possession. Hachimura, he's checked in for Washington. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Hey, yo, yo, right here. Wagner passes to Mahimi. Take that. Five to shoot. The floater. And it's Smith missing. Mavericks leading by nine. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, there is a lot of optimism in Dallas for the tandem of Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis. Porzingis said, we clicked right away. We're both European players, similar roots, both speak Spanish. That'll translate on the court. We can be something special. Kevin, look out for them to compliment and criticize one another in a different tongue. Yeah, if they play to their potential, they could be scary. Thanks, David. And Willie Cauley-Stein gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Hachimura. Well, this is the kind of effort you want to see from Luka Doncic. We know how good he is offensively. Right there playing solid D. Well, Scott Brooks now in his fourth year as coach of the Wizards, and it's been a bit of a mixed bag for him so far in his tenure in the D.C. area. And think about it, guys, under the gun now, because the GM who hired him was now let go. And he makes that one. Wright's got four points this quarter. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for time Washington. Out, Nothing offensively yet from them in the second quarter. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. 
And Doris for Brooks, he'll be doing what he can to get this team back in the playoff hunt. And I think, Kevin, the area they must address is the defensive end of the floor. Listen, they have thrived offensively under Scotty Brooks. But this team, if you're going to get into the playoffs and thrive, you've got to be a quality defensive unit. These are the players who had the most success from deep last season. Look at Curry, third in the NBA. He's someone that if you leave him alone, he's going to knock it down. The bucket must have looked three feet wide to him last year. I mean, very deserving in terms of that spot among the league leaders from three. Ask to Mahinmi. He kicks it to Napier. The shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. How about Jan Mahimi with a good pass? Not a guy you typically run the offense through, but his feel for the game has really grown. Curry against Smith. Curry is inside, over Smith. Offensive rebound. The shot by Cauley Stein, no good. Wizards trail by 11 to the inside and the basket by Napier and guys they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low Curry passes it to right Curry is inside working on Smith it's Curry that time on the assist by right Curry's got his second bucket I think he's adding more toughness to his game, and it's great to see Seth Curry stick with it and finish strong. Another shot, Napier, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Wizards shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. First free throw is good. You know, one of the biggest issues for the Wizards, obviously, has been their defense. I think part of that comes from not having the kind of rim protectors you need. They haven't been able to stay healthy there. But I think a bigger portion, guys, is simply a lack of effort. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Brzingis, he's checked in for Cauley Stein. Maxi Kleba comes in for Dwight Powell. Hardaway's checked in for Luka Doncic. And it's Jalen Brunson in for right. And the lack of effort on defense doors, it's been a big problem in Washington. Well, it's resulted, Kevin, in the team being second to last in points allowed last season. I don't think there's enough urgency and pressure from any position. And it also shows up in their rebounding numbers, Kev. There's a lot of things to be addressed here. The Wizards making a switch here. Ryan's checked in. Hey, Left side wall. Fader on the way. That's it, and the Dallas lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Bryant. And, and that's a good shot for him. He can shoot it over almost anyone. You want that mid-range game in your arsenal. You can't just be about threes and dunks. Sometimes this is a key shot. It's stolen by Mahimi. Fast break, here we go. And here's Wall outside. It's rebounded by Dallas. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And following this one, they'll take on the Hornets in New Orleans. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. With the combination of his agility and height, you can see Porzingis growing into an elite rebounder at some point. And Doris, given how much of last season he missed and how early he came into the league, Porzingis a lot younger than people think. Yeah, no doubt, Kevin. Think about it. He becomes an all-star at the age of 22 and already one of the more recognizable faces in the league. It is truly scary to think that in a few years, KP could be Mind miles better Mind than where lane. he is today. One shot. That free throw good from Porzingis. 
we know this about the Dallas Mavericks. They will put every piece of data and information to use in terms of trying to get an advantage. Think about it, guys. They are now doing blood tests, trying to head off injury for their players. They believe this gives them a clearer picture into the overall health of their athletes. Here's the teardrop and the rejection by Mahimi. That one falls. And Kevin, they've dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. Here's Wall. Here's Bryant. Curry with the steal. Now the Mavericks moving it up. Jacks up a three. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. And Doris, those blood tests you were talking about, always subject to player permission. They want to honor player privacy. I think you have to, Kevin, and most of the Mavs have embraced it. These tests have the ability to measure almost 50 biomarkers. As an athlete, you're always trying to stay in peak form. As an organization, you're always trying to manage appropriately their workloads. Passes it to Hachimura. Six on the shot clock. Here's Wall. You know, that's a great example of how Porzingis can use his length to bother a shooter. Brown outside. The Wizards need to get a shot off here. And they really haven't been able to get into any kind of an offensive flow this quarter. To the middle. Here's Kleba. And he goes in for the dunk. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love, Greg, is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Out of Würzburg, Germany, undrafted Maxi Kleba with a strong start, Doris, to his career. Incredible to think he grows up in the same small town as Dirk Nowitzki, and he first meets Dirk when he's 12 years old. What an amazing story for them to become teammates on the Mavericks. So cool. Bradley Beals checked in for Ian Mahimi. Brown outside. Yo, 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 who got the ball? Ow, ow. Back to wall. Close out on wall. Get the perimeter. I got your help, help side. The pass to Bryant. Over Brunson. And again, Washington, no good. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Back to Wall. That's good, and it's Bryant with the assist. Six points for Wall. Well, that's just great assertiveness from John Wall. So comfortable operating inside. And here's Brunson. Five points in the game. Brzingis kicks to Hardaway. Pass to Brunson. Wall with a block. Now you, you see the wingspan and the timing by John Wall. What a defensive effort. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. The kick out to Brown. Pass to Beal. Here's Wall. Second chance shot. And he sinks the layup. Wall's got eight points. Listen, we are talking about one of the strongest and most physical players at his position. John Wall, give me a little contact, no problem. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Well, for Washington, D.C. basketball, they have one title to their name, the champs back in 78. What a run that was for that team led by the great Wes Unseld. But boy, in the 40 years since that title, my goodness, fans of this franchise have waited so patiently for that return to oh, greatness. Take a break. Take when a break. will it come? Two shots. No good on that one. 
Doris, do you have high hopes for the new draft lottery system uh, to, to keep every team competitive to the very end of the season? Well, one of the keys in implementing this new draft lottery system was to make sure that the bottom three teams were given equal opportunity to get that top draft choice. I think you did see it have some effect on uh, play and teams trying to be competitive while understanding they're still going to have an opportunity to build their team through the draft. But here's the reality. The NBA has got to be under review constantly. There's a process in play. It's one of the most proactive leagues in the country in terms of always looking for little things to make sure their game is the best it can be. Attention to detail. Well said. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Kicks to Beal. Back to Wall. Watch the pick. Outside Bryant, fires from deep, and good, coming off the assist by Wall. Wall's got five assists in the game. And the shooting has really been there for him today, but he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. Of the two offenses here tonight, you can tell theirs is just a bit more in sync. And I think because of that, they've gotten the better looks to start this basketball game. Porzingis with the block. Curry is inside, covered by Wall. Curry's shot is good. Curry's got four points this quarter. This guy's a really clever penetrator. You have to be aware of Seth Curry's craftiness on the drive. And Beal kicks to Wall. Nice D from Porzingis. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Now here's Wall. He's tightly guarded. Beal gets a wide open look. Buries the long range jumper. Beal's got 10 points in the game. How about the pre-shot preparation by Bradley Beal? So good in the catch and shoot game. Brunson, the second chance effort. That one, no good. Now the Wizards take it the other way. It's off to Oklahoma City for them after this game, so they have the Thunder to look forward to. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. Lob pass to Bryant. It's not going to go for him. Nice D from Porzingis. Launches a three. Tries again. Got a piece of it. Now here's Bryant. Runs in covering. Porzingis with the block. But they get it back. Wall dishes to Beal. No good. Not a friendly rim at all this trip down. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Now here's Wall. Tight defense on him. Stolen by Brunson. The shot, no good. And so it's Dallas, controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. Their defense has been active and effective. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Bradley. The old saying, no rebounds, no rings. How important is it to continue to have five guys go to the glass in the second half? Yeah, all five, all five guys. But I think we're too worried about getting out in transition. So uh, I think one through five, including the guards, I know we all got to get in there and rebound. You can't score unless you have the ball, right? Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. The first quarter for the Mavericks was fairly even. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. 
Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Dallas played? How good are these guys on the fast break? They're pushing the ball, finding the open man, finishing strong. They're at a breakneck pace, and if they can maintain this level of intensity in the second half, blowout city. Jack, what was your takeaway on Washington? Well, they gave up too many good looks. You look at the field goal percentage against them, this tells the whole story. Not enough activity defensively, not enough disruption, Ernie. Like, Kenny disrupts me all the time, not enough disruption. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And so here is Dallas. Kleba is the four with Porzingis in the middle. Doncic and Hardaway at the two and the three. And it's Brunson in at the one spot. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Bryant finds Beal. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Luka Doncic. Now, I think, Kevin, this is what the team wants to see more of from Bradley Beal. Keep pushing the action. Get yourself some easy points from the foul line. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Beal. You know, the amazing thing to me is as much as Bradley Beal has turned into a complete player for a guy who entered as simply a jump shooter, I think there's even another level he can get to. And both free throws good for Beal. When he first came into the NBA, many thought Bradley Beal would be a mostly catch-and-shoot shooting guard. But this guy has proven he can definitely shoot, but there's so much more to his game. He can create for others. He can get himself off on the bounce. He is a terrific all-around guy now. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Brunson. That shot misses. Nice D from Wall. And so Bryant will bring it up for the Wizards. Wizards passing it around. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And with Beal doors, he's been more aggressive at attacking the rim. And Kevin, it's worked out for him because he's gotten to the line more, and that allows you to become a consistent scoring presence. Boy, the dynamic nature of Beal's offensive game has really elevated. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Doncic against Beal. Outside, Brzingis. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Brunson. How he performed last season. Put up about nine points per, three assists, and two rebounds. And right now, for him, it's about gaining experience and continuing to develop his game. This is a man's game, and you've got to earn your minutes in this league. This guy, his time will come eventually. That free throw good from Porzingis. You know, there was so much hype around Kristaps Porzingis once he got off to a great start in his first year. 
and you just want to see him continue to grow and add dimensions to the offensive game every year. What's next? We'll see. And both free throws good for Porzingis. Wizards trail by 21. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Here's Hachimura. It's blocked. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, one of the things that the NBA has been forward thinking about is always accepting new ideas. And they've got a bunch of them on the table in recent weeks. A mid-season tournament, a postseason play-in tournament, maybe even reducing the 82-game regular season schedule. Now, all of these would be very bold moves, but Commissioner Adam Silver has always demonstrated a willingness to think outside the box. Kevin? DA, great assessment. Good report. Thank you so much. And even though he came into the league at the age of 19 out of the University of Florida, Beal has been a scorer since the get-go. Well, Bradley Beal entered the league as a sweet shooting two-guard. He has worked his way into being a tremendous playmaker. Year over year, his overall offensive game has gotten so much better. First one falls for him. And so he makes both from the line. Mavericks leading by 21. Outside, Brzingis. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got four assists in the game. That's three of four here to start the half. Wall draws the double. Bryant passes to Wall. To the paint. Here's Beal. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Beal's got 16. Well, Bradley Beal has turned himself into more than just a perimeter shooter. This guy can go off to dribble drive. He can score at the rack. That's nice. Yeah, and, and ever since halftime, they've played precision basketball offensively. i got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. And Porzingis, here we go. Wow, that's the mobility of Porzingis gliding in for the finish. And it's Wall with the ball for the Wizards. Here's Bryant, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. The Wizards have been shooting right around 75% at the line, 9 of 12 so far. Shooting two. Free throw, good, Bryant. And the Mavericks with some changes. Willie Cauley-Stein, he's checked in for Pazingas. Dwight Powell comes in for Maxi Kleba. And it's DeLon right in for Jalen Brunson. And then for Washington, Mo Wagner's checked in for Troy Brown. And Shabazz Napier subbed in for John Wall. Both free throws good for Bryant. Mavericks leading by 23. Outside Hardaway. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And really for a good portion last season, Tim Hardaway acted as the main source of points for the Knicks. It ends up more of a volume score, a role that he's going to have to develop. And he makes the first. 
And for Hardaway, he was putting up points last season, but the percentages, Greg, were down across the board. And I think what we found out about him is that he's he's probably not best suited to be your primary scorer. Very capable of getting buckets, but you don't want him putting up more than 15, 18 shots a game for you. Hardaway hits them both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Now Napier. He's got six. Passes to Hachimura. Over Hardaway. And another miss by Washington. Boy, as slow a start as you could have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. It's tipped. And so the ball out of bounds. Beal touched it last. A, a split second late, but almost came up with a steal there. Absolutely appreciate the effort, though. He really went after it so close. Miami's checked in for Washington. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Mahimi. From the top of the key, the Wizards with another miss. Ooh, and this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. And this is what you like about Jan Mahimi defensively. He might not be the highest flyer, but big time enforcer. Here's Napier, and there it is for him. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And they are making it look easy at the free throw line here in the second half. Mavericks leading by 22. And Wright kicks to Powell. Donchich outside. There's the dish to Hardaway. Cauley Stein with it. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Cauley Stein, a, a serviceable shooter at the line. Let's see if he can make them count. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two. Two. And that one falls for Cauley Stein. And Cauley Stein has drawn comparisons to Tyson Chandler due to his length and athleticism. It's important he continues to get better. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Washington has gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. And it's Napier missing. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. Set up, set up. Right inside. Napier covering. And that one's good. Wright. Wright's got six. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. The pass to Wagner. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. Here's Wright. Six points for him. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Now, here's Doncic. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Boy, and the foul. Doncic has got great upper body strength, completes the play. Nicely done. And he's got his first chance at the line here. It was a, a little bit of a battle for him all season long last year, only shooting about 71%. A live body off the bench. Dwight Powell gives you productive minutes. He does, Kevin, and that's most reflected in the plus minus when you look at his stats. 
This is a guy who hasn't averaged a ton of minutes, but he scores and he defends at a high level when he's given those minutes. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Here's Hardaway. Washington with the rebound. Beal's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Wagner. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. Beal's got three assists tonight. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Right, looking around, and looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. You know, looking at the turnover story, they've had a few miscues along the way, but as we see on the scoreboard, it hasn't hurt them. Curry's checked in for Hardaway. Napier up top, guarded by Wright. Yep, it counts. Napier's got 11 points. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. It is not an easy task trying to convert against length. Give him credit for taking on that challenge. Here's Wagner, guarded by Wright. Shot from 12, and the Wizards getting another bucket right there. And this is the time they wanted to mount the rally and get back into it. Smith against Doncic. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got 17. From the moment this guy stepped into the league, Luka Doncic has been aggressive and assertive. He just attacks defenders. Beal against Wright. And Beal kicks to Smith. Pass to Napier. Just five on the clock. Goes up from the top of the key. No good off the back of the rim. Mavericks leading by 20. Outside Curry. From deep. Rebound by Mahimi. Mahimi's got four rebounds in this game. Smith's shot is good. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Yeah, but this run started with tighter execution at both ends, and, and that'll need to be maintained for them to have a chance to take the lead. And that one's good, right? And, and when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, my man is going for the jugular. Pass to Beal. Shoots over Curry, and a little luck that time, but it drops. Beals has got 10 points in the quarter. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. And Curry has it in the corner. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Boy, had this shot on automatic. The confidence so crucial to what Seth Curry brings to the table. Napier finds Beal. Cauley Stein grabs the board. Cauley Stein's got six rebounds here tonight. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. Two. And that one falls for Cauley Stein. Doris, you've accomplished so much in your award-winning career. What was your first experience in broadcasting? Kevin, my first experience was I left coaching, and they put Providence College women's basketball on radio. That was the first ever game I got to call. It was so cool. Uh, tell me yours. What was the very first? Did you study this? How did you get into broadcasting? I did. Our high school had a radio station, and the first basketball broadcast was underneath the bleachers looking through popcorn boxes and legs of the people uh, that were standing in the bleachers so that i could see the court from the baseline Amazing. because that's where the that's where the telephone cables were to plug in our equipment when wow. i was uh, 16 years old incredible remember it very well incredible very well. <laughs> 
There's Beal with the three. Cauley Stein grabs the board. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. They get it back. Nice work on the boards, paying off with the basket. Cauley Stein's got five points now this quarter. And with his vertical reach, you expect Cauley Stein to be a factor on the offensive glass. Here's Wagner, and the rejection by Cauley Stein. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Here's Wright, and it's blocked. Beal from long range, and the three ball is good. Beal's got 13 points here in the second half alone. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. It's Curry with the drive. No good, shot missing. Nice D from Wall. Wizards trailed by 19. With the second effort, here's Beal. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Wall with the steal. Oh, and here we go. Wall's got it. The fast break chance. Oh, what a oh dunk! Look Ooh. out below! Ooh, wow. This seems to be the new breed of point guards who can play above the rim. Wall finishing with style. Right, the pass to Doncic. And the layup's good off the glass. Doncic has got 19 points. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And again, Washington with the triple. Always a bonus when points come from unlikely sources. And you can see this guy's been working on that shot. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Powell the pass to Cauley Stein. The floater, and Doncic lays it in. Doncic has got nine points now in the quarter. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. And here's Wall. 14 points for him. Top of the key. It could go. Can't connect. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. It's Dallas. They lead by 18. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate, and how about the setup this was? Boy, GA, how about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Fourth quarter on the court for the Wizards. In it forward, it's Hachimura and Bertans. Round out there with Wall, and it's Bryant in at the five spot. And the basket is good. Accelerating to the rim, Wall can get there in the blink of an eye. And taken away by Brown, and now it's Brown running. He can go all the way, and it's blocked. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That free throw good from Brown. Mavericks leading by 13. Passes it to Doncic. They get the rebound. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Doncic has got 23. Well, Luka Doncic has every skill necessary to be a difference maker on the boards. Let's begin with his great size. On the wing, Brown, guarded by Curry. Six to shoot. Ryan trying to free himself up. Here's Pertinus, and he banks in the layup. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. 
Runs in the pass to Doncic. Outside Curry. And it's Doncic. That time on the assist by Curry. 25 points for Luka Doncic. Wall against Doncic. The pass to Bertens. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. And right there, you see the decision-making ability of Hachimura. Sets his man up perfectly. Pass to Kleba. Dallas moving the ball around. Now, here's Doncic, defended by Bryant. And the dunk by Doncic. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. Oh, right. And wasn't the timing ideal? My goodness, the D with no chance to react. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Here's Wall. And Wall with the slam. Yeah, he can finish like an elite shooting guard. Wall with the size and burst to throw it down with ease. And taken away by Brown. In transition, here come the Wizards. Out of bounds, Dallas takes possession. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. Mavericks making a switch here. Hardaway is checked in. Mavericks leading by 13. Now, Brunson. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Wall passes to Bryant. Inside, Brown. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Tim Hardaway picks one up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And Brown drops them both. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for Dallas. They lead by 11. Pass to Kleba. Now here's Brunson, covered by Wall. Kleba with the bucket. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Uh, Greg, to me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Passes it to Persingas. Over Bryant. Doesn't go that time. And the Wizards now going the other way. Brown the pass to Bertens. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Mavericks leading by 11. Here's Persingas. Rebound, Washington. Bryant's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Bertans with the ball. Wall, no luck. And here comes the break. Here's Hardaway. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Hachimura, the pass to Brown. Here's Wall, guarded by Doncic. Bryant against Porzingis. Bryant is doubled, knocked loose, stolen by Brunson. Here's Doncic. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is up and in. Doncic has got 17 now, just in the second half. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Ball coming, ball coming. The kick out to Wall. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Pertinus. Porzingis with the block. Here's Kleba. 
kept alive. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And one difference this have is that when they get to the line, they're converting. That free throw good from Hardaway. You see, to me, guys, for Tim Hardaway Jr., there's still another level for him to reach. He has proven that he can be a big-time scorer. To me, now, it's about consistency and doing it night after night after night. And Washington making a change here. Smith has checked in. And he makes both free throws. Wizards trail by 15. Washington calls timeout. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, during that break, Kevin, I heard what Scott Brooks said to his team. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. We've got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if they have enough to get it done. Thanks so much, David. And Wall kicks to Brown. Clock at six. The kick out to Bryant. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Dallas. Hardaway has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Porzingis can't hit. Wizards trail by 15. Here's Brown. Here's Smith. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got six rebounds here tonight. Overwall connects on the nine-footer. 31 points for Luka Doncic. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Wall looking for an opening. Ball's knocked loose. And there's the pass to Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. Luka Doncic has superstar written all over him. He's cooking. Outside wall. Pass to Hachimura. Looking to end the run. Rebounded by Hardaway. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Wall passes to Hachimura. He dishes it to Bryant. Porzingis with the block. They recover it. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Wizards trail by 21. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Doncic against Wall. Shoots over Doncic. Bryant. It's good on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Outside, Brzingis. Here's Brunson and the powerful one-handed slam. Uh, Chris Stapps Porzingis is a fundamentally sound basketball player. He has great understanding for when to shoot and when to pass. Get there, get there. Out of bounds, it'll be Mavericks out, ball. Out. For the Wizards, Davis Bertans comes in for Hachimura and Beal subbed in for Smith. Mavericks leading by 21. Doncic kicks to Porzingis. Here's Kleba, by the way, trying to free himself up. Great chemistry between two teammates. Love the passing. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for Washington. Pass to Bryant. Outside wall. Over Brunson. Porzingis with the rebound. 
Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Well, count that one. Kleba's got six points in the quarter. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Washington's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. They're 6 of 13. Here's Wall, and Wall with the slam. Can you tell how confident and comfortable John Wall is putting a team on his back? Do you not love the athletic guard who stays aggressive? Runs in the pass to Doncic. Dallas moving it around, and it's good assisting on the play was Hardaway. Hardaway has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Hey, who's watching Wall? Here's Wall. Or some of these players are making more money on endorsement deals than on their NBA contracts. I mean, <laughs> I just shake my head at that, don't you? It, it's an amazing time in which we live because the power of social media and the understanding of today's athlete that their brand is significant and that their brand extends outside of the, the lines of competition. You see so many men who uh, have overseas opportunities, whether you're talking Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Donovan Mitchell, uh, they understand the power of the face and the talents they bring to the table. Truly, truly remarkable young men. Remarkable indeed. Bertans kicks to Brown. Brian in the post. Brunson covering. Yes, that goes in. Bryant's got four points in the quarter. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Dallas. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And we watched them all night long. No one could really stop them. Just another excellent game it was for Luka Doncic. This guy has been shot-making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. Passes it to Persingas. Outside Hardaway. Just five to shoot. Doncic outside. Beal on the double team. Here's Persingas. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question, GA. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Here's Wall. Off the left rim and out. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. <laughs> Now the pass to Brunson. Back to Porzingis. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans <laughs> appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, David, thank you as always. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.